Hey guys, what's up? Um, very good morning to you guys here. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining using um, a visual representation of a done IT report. Before then, let's take a look at recommended format. Um, so in this format, you have your chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. Now after your introductory previous types, so certification, all this introductory previous, um, you go to your introduction. That's inception on CS. In this, you talk about CS and provide and discuss more like an introduction. Introduction to. Or it is you provide and discuss the training program given to you in the introduction in chapter 2 is a brief history of your organization very importantly you should contain the organizational chart which is the um, organogram call it organogram you can call it organizational chart yeah um, you talk about the various departments and their function now in, in chapter 3 you see I added scope, project and maintenance work. Well, this was um, my own. I guess the format I'm using for my own report. You can structure it in whichever way it tells the story of your project best. Now by scope, I mean um, the various departments where my work is, is needed. Explain the work. For example, saying I worked on air conditioners. I talk about air conditioners, different type of air conditioners. Then the project is more like the work I perform. So the project projects or maintenance work is, it is the same thing yeah i'll also be using them some done it reports to you know what is this this part the body is the main part of the report the student is expected to detail the work done and achievements each project performed can be separated in a different section within the body so uh that's clear you have your conclusion your recommendation what you regard, um, we talk about benefits and weaknesses, and what you recommend we help it get better. Now, appendix is majorly if you have things you want to add, like documents or whatever you have to support your report. Maybe you have excess pictures and you want to add it, you can just put them in the appendices. <coughs> Length, no fixed page limit. Now, this is this is true. At first, I didn't understand what this. What was meant here by no fixed page limits? I thought that it must be 45 to 70 pages. But speaking to a friend of mine from physics department, he said there's this to be 20 to 25. So um, there's no point amassing pages and pages. You know what is right uh, from your department and and do it. And if you don't, <laughs> if you've not heard from your department, do what you feel is right. If you believe your report is satisfactory to you, go on with it. We have Times New Roman as a format size is 12 points and spacing is 2.5. Now, I I do not, I'm not so sure this is from Futa, although I do not believe so. It looks looks good. It might not be from Futa, but of course, the recommended structure for nice people and it will help. It will help, but you, should, you don't need to be rigid about it. Alright, that's um, the major stuff we need for now. And the first report that we're going through, this is a student of mechanical engineering um, from last year. This is the body of the report. So in the beginning, he took five pages to talk about series and introduction to the work he did. Um, this is simple. People have different formats. So you get the formats. It, it's still the detail and organization. And then you talk about um, the inception of, of, of your so this was done at Moritala Mamed International Airport. Location, location and brief history. Of course, object to our vision and mission. Um, functions, the structure. The structure does not mean you now have the organogram. The structure, um, airports. Just some details, some details. And did a lot of listing. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Then the organogram. Well, my issue with this organogram is. It's kind of tiny to see. I wish it could be straight. But the thing is, when this is printed, it's going to be in um, landscape mode. So it's going to be flipped and to be more visible. 
I promise you see what you have to click with this and our lecturers will be giving them hard copy so you could just make yours more visible talk about departments you have human resource and various other departments um yeah so that's that's that about this chapter two and okay, now moving to his chapter three air conditioning systems that's where he comes in introduction um talking about air conditioning this really they are theory and they can be found from journals online or textbooks types talk about the types talk about um basic parts types basic parts the condenser the evaporator and that this is just the structure for a mechanical student there might be a limitation here because i'm a mechanical engineer and that is what i have talk about the working process i want to go straight to where he talked about the work he did talk about basic tools and equipment some boxes there with pictures you see this these are the things that amass amass space and that so procedure of installation really i believe this is where his work um started coming in procedure of installation and all these all these processes 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 they are they are very easy ways to you know um add box your it report troubleshooting these are just parts of the processes and that so i'm going to be skipping through that he did that safety precaution yeah the safety precaution very many people add tables when it comes to safety precaution okay challenges and that, that so he did something different really in chapter four he also he talked about heavy duty automobiles slasher tractor the reason why he did this was because he did this um internship he had this internship in two different sections so he talked about them in two different chapters you know no rigid construction for your organization so he talked about automobiles talk about different the basic concepts one needs to understand that like, you are coming freshly to it added some pictures and uh, some have we got from the company some online you know you use what you have piece rings talking about these things and i'm going to be skipping through this theory let me go straight up to talk about the maintenance work and these are the maintenance work things you did through it um your experience thing. so these are the maintenance work pictures okay so good it's good and safety precautions um challenges with this past class section then the conclusion just the conclusion same conclusion it's something you guys generate the general challenges he said the issue of road traffic was a challenge okay this is being open as you say you don't have to be read it and try to follow a format or <laughs> you should communicate you should communicate through your report with that said we're heading to the next report this next report was done by shame the other was done by shijuki and this is done by shame now shame did his at um well, british american tobacco this is on an organogram is chapter one is different as a different form but i don't need to go over that issue of establishment the um the organogram okay clear available what is this why is what's from here so something missing all right make sure whatever you are doing fits into the page i'll add that um so you hear you see different things operations departments and after that that's just all so basic work done now he started with the primary manufacturing department the way he did this was different he didn't just go straight up like i worked at automobile this is what automobiles are or air conditioning this is what they are or caterpillars this is what they are inside department by department I spoke with him personally, he said he went through as many departments as he could go through, if not all, pertaining to mechanical and you know, he added details. What I really like about his report is the visual representation. You see this, although not so clear, and um, flow chart. We have this. So just talking about what you're doing add little explanation it doesn't need to be too much when explanations get as much as this they tend to be to add a lot of bulk to the to the report making it so ambiguous 
it's not necessary you can see here it's it's four pages wide it, it doesn't have to be that that much so i'll be skipping through so quality assurance talk about quality assurance processes will i do that i don't think i'll do that so different sectors <laughs> okay this is infra lab so you know you talk about where um, where you work like the, my, the section you're working in you talk about tools equipment used and yeah this is a nice picture a student machine as pmd power manufacturing department so you see on one department so that's we basically where it worked now i added an organogram of the engineering well this is cool it's not like compulsory but it's, it's a cool addition just like pictures but what i really like about it was is when it came to tools you know when, when when it comes to tools you may not even have to explain again when you have a picture like this it's it's detail it's detail it's, it's it makes it easily a report easily accessible and understandable so you see this grouping it's just sizing it sizing it, and going to the next thing power generation plant and what have you there it goes, there it goes, explaining and explaining what happened. Now your chapter 3 really is up to you. You determine your structure, the way you um, want to present your work. And in it you add, okay, you did this. You also add at, the, at each section your personal work and contribution, um, how you learned. It's communication, you know, communication. So challenges, I like that they add problems encountered and challenges. You don't like try to make your report look perfect. You add the challenges. You maybe the traffic was hard. Maybe uh, supervisors were not so cool. Some people had it like that. We should we should add other things. And then you have the conclusion here. You just talk with her about see where it's how it's very educative and has helped. Then if this something brilliant, say which is the summary of experience gained. It makes it so easy to understand this report. Did all this, this all this, this all that and <laughs> that's all so at recommendations the recommendations can be built based on the challenges you experience and how others you better not experience it so this is a reference you know a few references are good your report may not be as bulky as this references and references are really cool all right guys um that's it for today I'm making another video soon in the line of report writing but it's with more general as um generating automatic table of contents i've seen based on requests most people ask how can they go about the table of contents so a video will be coming about that soon thanks and uh have a wonderful day bye guys